Frontier will be live in a second. Hey, between T-Mobile and Frontier, we're live. Good morning. We are a little tardy, but not too bad. For my, It's Monday. And frankly, most of y'all are, are watching afterwards anyway. So um, Most of y'all are at work where you should be. <laughs> where, where you should be. Uh, but are you working where you, if you're at work? <laughs> are you cheating and watching us? Some of y'all is, I know. <laughs> and that's okay. Y'all's like, I gotta as go to the back. As long as you don't get caught. I gotta go to the back room, excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna take my phone with me. I know, I, I, I know how that is. Anyway, um, uh, again, thanks for coming to another um, episode of Go Talk with Devin Will. Uh, we appreciate um, all the love we've been getting, all the, you know what, all the all the views, all the subscriptions on YouTube. And the shares. And all the shares that happen here on Facebook. We, we, we appreciate, appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a project um, that we've been doing for more than a year, a year and a half or so. A year and a half. A year and a half or so. Mm -hmm. And it's been good. It really has been good. So we've really enjoyed um, talking to you, you know what, m most every week. Thanks for coming in. Uh, and I'm going to pull up the Facebook page on, on the computer so I can see. Hey, Pam. There's Pam again. I hadn't talked to Pam in a while. I talked to Pam the other day on, 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 on a live. Pam used to teach in Hillsborough County. Now she lives in, in Hudson, which is like Thunderdome. I don't know. Why else is that way on your phone? I don't know. I'm going to find out. Okay. Looks, looks fine there. there okay. All right. Um, so. It's, it's all me anyway. Oh mm, yeah, that 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 is that is more true than That's anything. That's the most important thing. That is true. So one morning I'm going to get up and say and put your phone on the gimbal and then go back to bed. Watch me. Maybe next week. Mark, what's going on? Appreciate it. Hey, listen. Um, we want to talk about this morning, and we've and and Debbie reminded me that we've broached this subject before, but it, you know what? As <clears throat> You know what, we, we are not going to let you into, and we talked about this earlier, that we are not going to let you into every jot and, di jot and tittle of our own personal lives because that's not what this is all, because it's not what it's about anyway. But you know what, as things happen, um, I think the same things are happening in other people's lives who are, who have been married about the same length of time or who are about the same age that, you know what, that Deb and I are. Um, and there's hurdles that, there and, and as we talk to people, we're finding out that a lot of people mm -hmm. who are going through very similar things. Oh my goodness! Thanks, Mark. Lisa is somebody we went to. Uh, uh, I went to Florida State with French horn player. Hey, Lisa. Um, that's well. Well, give Lisa a, a hug for me. I appreciate that, Mark. Thank you. Um, it's golly. I've been. We haven't been to homecoming in I don't know, thirty years. Oh, wow, it's twenty plus. So. I don't think it's hadn't been thirty. Have we been since Alex was born? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I no, you have, but I haven't. Oh my god! It's been a long time since I've been to homecoming, and I know there are a group of group of chiefs that go to homecoming all the time, and still, at least every couple of years, and I haven't been in. I I, I know I haven't been in in, in twenty plus years. Because I think the last time I went, I went with Danny and Ted, mm -hmm. and then we slipped. All in this one room in this crappy motel, because we went way too late after a football game. <laughs> We'd have been better sleeping in the car. <laughs> Just saying, it was not good. It was fun, but it's an adventure that young guys could take. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It isn't like I don't want to. I think I'm too old to march, but it'd be fun to go back and see everybody. That's for sure. It'd be interesting seeing you march. No, it wouldn't be interesting. It'd be sad and pathetic. And like, oh, look at that old fart down there. And how we used to think I'm of... I'm sure there are much older people. There are. And we used to laugh at them. When I was in Chiefs, it was like, golly, these people need to get a life. <laughs> anyway, speaking of getting a life, um, <clears throat> we're noticing that we that you know that people that we know who are, who've been married, you know, the same length of time, who are about our age, are going through very similar things. All, some, some of them exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's like a parallel life. <laughs> yeah, that we're all living these parallel lives. Um, and, and a lot of it is, um, it, a, a lot of those things are, are, are happening um, in the health range. You know, we're all going through this 
than the sad thing is, is that once you get to be in our age and you are kind of financially stable, then your body uh, wants to, and you, you know, and you, you want to do things and get out and do stuff and all like that, and your body's saying, oh, 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 so your ankle, oh, my ankle, I don't know, my knee, <laughs> let's go for a walk, mm -mm, nope, nope, not today, why, because I got a little inflammation in my ankle, what? So, we're doing things to try to cut back on that the sugar and coffee and all that stuff. So, <laughs> but, um... Steady, <laughs> and a steady supply of meloxicam. I, I recommend that if you <laughs> are getting up in age, cut back on sugar. Yeah, sugar you, is not your friend. Yeah, sugar, sugar is the freaking enemy. It really is. But, um... So, you know, the, the, the idea is that uh, you guys have been married over 30 years. That's right. You guys got married a long time ago. You know, so the idea is that we have to really, as your relationship is growing and blossoming, and, and, you're, and, and I don't want to say, hey, Nelson, Nelson, another That's one of our, our, um, our really good friends from way back when, um, and still he and his wife. College buds. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it's interesting that as you're, as, you know, as you're growing through your, 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 your relationship, it's just one of those things that, you know what, as young people and as young married couples, you never thought you'd have to deal with. Because when you're young, you never think that, I mean, you think that your body's going to be your body and and the outside you like may, you're gonna live forever may wrinkle a little and bit. You're not, you're going to be able to do all the things that you're doing and you take it for granted, really. Yeah, yeah, you really. take it for granted. Well, of course you do, because and, what else are you going to do? Mm -hmm. And now, I would give anything to be able to stay up and <laughs> and and then hop right up the next morning and get right into it. But yeah. now, sleep is important. Make sure that you sleep. It's funny, um, there's a, some friends of mine who, who used to teach. Um, she's she, she has left where... Where I work, but I watched her um, celebrate her and her husband for her, her husband's thirtieth birthday party, and they went with some group of friends to a city in Georgia, and they had a great time, and and then she posted a picture of her chugging some Pepto Bismol, <laughs> literally chugging. And I was like, mm, I've done that before. <laughs> I've turned up some, I've turned up some pink stuff once or twice in my life, and then at the end she was like, you're realizing that you're not twenty one anymore. You're just not. Happened, happened pretty fast, you know. You know, my saxophone teacher, uh, Pat, Pat Meehan said, "You guys are going to realize you're going to get about thirty, and you're going to have pains in your body that you didn't, you don't know where the heck they came from, and why they're there." Uh, so you think guys are going to live forever, but you know, and he was right. And fifty is a whole nother dimension. You know, fifty-eight, damn near sixty is what I call it, um, is 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 something entirely different. So, and and there isn't any way. That it doesn't become that that that, that health difficulties or, or whatever doesn't become part of the mix in your relationship. There's almost there's there's really no way to separate that from everything else. It becomes part of the mix. It becomes part of the discussion every day. It becomes becomes part of your situation. It you know it it, it, it adds stress on and and we're not just talking about the you know the the major things like when I was. And I had my little cold back in, you know, and I did have a cold. Kind of. You had the flu. I had a flu, a flu or something back in 2014. Lung infection. A little lung infection. A little, little lung infection. Um, back in 2014. Heart attack. Well then, well, then, well, then I had cardiac arrest. and have a heart attack because my heart is healthy. Yes. Uh, I don't have any, I don't have any, I don't, any, any, there's no part of my heart that's damaged. So uh, I had a little cardiac arrest and. Little, little stuff. You know, I, I, we're not even, I'm not even talking about those kind of events. I'm talking about the everyday kind of events. Um, and guys, fellas, who've been married as long as I have, uh, and have a wife, I mean, of a certain age, they're all... Younger. <laughs> I've got to go to the bathroom now, excuse me. younger than you. You are. Just a little bit. i got to go pee, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all can relate, right? Um, <laughs> however, you know, still are, there are certain, um, conditions and, and th that, that she's experiencing that, or that everybody's going through. 
I sort of thought about it the other day. It's like when your wife is pregnant. I'm, per, you know what? Her body is changing in all sorts of wild and, and amazingly wonderful and horrific ways all at the same time. But everybody in the house is pregnant. While your wife is going through the experience, everybody else is going through the same or a similar experience because your wife is pregnant, right? So anybody who's experienced that understands what, understands what I'm saying. So as uh, we are maturing, there are other changes that are taking place and everybody is going through them. Everybody is being, a better, better way to say it, everybody is being affected by it. You understand? Everybody in the house is being affected by it. And this is important that we understand, guys, that we understand that, <clears throat> or, and, and ladies, that we understand that you, n neither of us are going through our things by ourselves in our little capsule. You're going to watch your spouse go through changes that, you know, you want to help. You want to do things to, to make it better for them, but a lot of times you can't. A lot of times you just have to ex go through it and kind of stand back and then do your own little research and do your own little thing. Because I, I understand how he's feeling with me because we, I'm not, I'm definitely not pregnant, but uh, <laughs> we are, I'm at the menopause stage and a lot of other things are affecting me uh, physically. Um, the thyroids are not behaving like they should and different things like that and it it can put a toll on you know just as the hormones do when you're pregnant you your hormones start acting up at this age so i i think that guys if you are in a relationship or a marriage i won't say a relationship i'll say you know a marriage at this point where you have said now, I may be a long time, and we forget because things happened a long time well, ago. we did it a year ago. We renewed our vows um, at 30, right? Mm -hmm. um, that um, that you are in for better or worse and, and in sickness and in health. Um, all those four things, better, worse, sickness, health, encompass all the things that you may be going through now, especially when it has to, you know, has to do with health issues. Um, the, the, this idea that you were, that we are going to be super um, but um, healthy and virile, you know, all our lives is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, and and a, and a ridiculous expectation. And um, your wife is going to be the same um, person um, that she was emotionally, spiritually, and physically that she was when she was twenty one is ridiculous. And um, we're going to have to experience. We have, we have to find a way to. To, under, to first of all understand it and um, find a way to make sure that we can push through it, because you know what and 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 when Debbie's talking about you know the the whole hormonal situation, that's not something that is going to that's going to last forever. Actually, that you know what in in my little bit of research, uh, all that stuff settles down after you know what either through surgery or time or whatever. All settles down, and I and, I and I thought about this for a while. We think we used to ask about this all the time. How do people who've been married thirty years get a divorce? Uh, maybe they can't handle the changes. I think that's it. I think that that may. I don't know if that's exactly it, but I think that that might figure in sometimes, mm -hmm. because people are changing in all sorts of other ways, and then you throw on the health part. the health part. And for some people, that becomes that becomes too much. I think that's terrible, and that's not an excuse for you. Sorry, I'm not giving anybody an out. Don't think that I'm giving you an out. I'm not because I I, I don't think that's a reason. I don't think that's even close to being a reason. Um, just because you're frustrated from time to time, that's not that's not a reason. Sorry, uh, but I think that that might be an excuse people use. That might push them to, you know, that mm -hmm. thing because it can, you know what I, you know, and because I'm not the same, I'm not the same girl that he met uh, at the Pizza Hut in them little black pants thirty four years ago, and that and that booty. you know, um, I still have the booty, but and, I don't. And have we're doing, the, you know, we're doing this, baby, working late. 
And we used to close together at Pizza Hut. I was always a perfect gentleman at Pizza Hut. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of a lot of people, I was always a perfect gentleman at the Pizza Hut. <laughs> Notice but, I said um, at at the Pizza Hut. I was a perfect gentleman all the time. Every time. But, um, but, well, why do you make me lose my <laughs> train of thought? That hasn't changed. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta pee. <laughs> That's one of the things you have to do when you're, when you're my age. You have to, you have to pee a lot. I'm like, oh, my kidneys work. Good. Excuse me. <laughs> My my bladder is the size of a chickpea, but my but, but my kidneys work like gangbusters. Uh, anyway, so at the pizza hut, you were saying? Well, I'm that I, I'm just saying I'm that I'm person. not the same girl that you met at the pizza hut 34 years ago, um, and I'm not the my body physically has changed quite a bit, and and my mental and health is not the same. Oh, nobody is. Mm -hmm. When you met me, I weighed 140 pounds. So people think yeah, that is supposed to. That, and you hear a lot of people say, you know, well, you, you're not the same. You've changed so much. And you're not the person that I fell in love with. No. And, they, and you're not going to be the same. You're not the same person either. No. So you you got to accept the changes. I'm so cute, though. And be willing to go My along with it. And, and understand the whole process and not be self-centered. I can understand why some men and women, you know, at this age, they want, the, they call it the midlife crisis. Mm. And people want to find that younger woman, younger man now, women are cougars out there. Trade in their 40 for 220s? Stupid. Mm -hmm. Stupid. What's on that, that uh, why did we get married? You trade the eighty. You have the eighty twenty. You trade the the eighty percent in for the twenty percent, and because you know she's sexy and all this stuff, and then when you realize you you really like the eighty part better, mm. so yeah, because the twenty is gonna kill you. It kill you anyway. Um, so yeah, it's uh, so it, it it is something that figures into your relationship, and I think that. Um, just like everything that we've talked about since we've been doing this for a, 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 you know, a year and a half, um, everything it comes down to being able to, to, if you understand it, to be able to communicate it and be able to participate in it. Um, I've, I, don't, I you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to just toot my own horn, but uh, we have been communicative in what's going on, and we've also, and I've also attended some of the, the doctor's appointments. To see what the you know what some of the causes are and and that really that really helps you understand. Yes, it does two things. It shows the, it shows your wife that you're supporting her in this you know whatever the next challenge is. But it helps you under helps you to understand exactly what's going on as well, and that makes things a, a, a whole bunch easier. I'm just telling guys, guys. So if your wife's got that appointment with the Parathyroid. I didn't, I didn't even know it was. A, I didn't even know that was a thing. The hell. And as it turns out, it's a huge. It's a huge thing. And we are blessed. Parathyroid. We are blessed because not far from here um, is a world-renowned parathyroid center. Yes. The hell. Who would have thought? People come from all around the world to see the doctor that I'm seeing. The Canadians, the Canadians come down. The snowbirds come down because in Canada they they have to wait, um, and here they just have to sign up. <laughs> you have to get an appointment. Um, so uh, it's and so that's been you know that's that that's been quite a blessing, and the whole thing was explained um, very well. As and as a matter of fact, every it's kind of weird though. Every bit of research I've done on that since has been cited a citation from the Norman Parathyroid Center. Mm -hmm. So, which is, I guess, makes me confident. Um, but um, that's the kind of thing. I mean, that's the kind of thing that, that when you've been in in relationship this long, that you're going to have to deal with. You're going to have to be good at, and it's going to happen. And, and as you're you know, like creeping up on that, 
uh, people who have been married 25 years, 20 years, or whatever. Um, this is this is something that you're going to have to sit, consider. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you that your body's gonna fall apart and and, and life's gonna no. be awful. That's not what I'm saying at all. But th- but there but are there real will concerns. Be changes. There there it's a natural thing. There are natural changes in in the body, and and I think that what has um, thrown him a bit because. He had, of course, your cold in 2014. I had a really bad cold. Which I was, was very I was so, serious. I was so nothing. Was I was very serious breathe. and on the brink of death. I'm and bad then cold. me. Mean, awful cold. After when he had his his the, the, the heart thing, then I had my, I, my knee went out. And now that I think about it, that thyroid thing is probably a combination of why all yeah, of those other things happen. Yeah, thyroid's a big deal. And I think that I think that you ought to do a YouTube thing on that. On your on your thyroid journey. Um, because I had my knee to go out and it can cause uh, the inflammation and and problems with your bone structure. Then I had such huge uh, tumors, uh, what are those? Uh, fibroid. Fibroid tumors, it can cause that. And as we, get, you know, it took all of this stuff to to happen for me to realize exactly, you know, what that, what this it's, was. It can be a journey. So, and now I'm believing in God that we're at the end of it. I have to, I have to have surgery for it, but... Uh, I'm believing that this is going to stop all the other and excess then, problems. And you know, we're going to. And, and again, it's one of those things that you, yes, that when your spouse is under general general anesthesia, everybody's everybody's holding their breath too. Everybody's under the same thing. Uh, everybody's going through the experience. Mary Wynn Proudfoot, my goodness gracious, do you know who Mary? Ooh, like, do you know who Mary Wynn Proudfoot is? Mary Wynn. Used, Marilyn Wilson used to teach at Dowdell. And actually, that's a, that's a blast, blast from the past. past. Yes, and then married the shop teacher, Bob Proudfoot, and is, um, and they've been, and y'all been married, Mary Wynn, y'all been married for a long time too, haven't you? You guys have been married for a long time. Uh, well, thanks for popping in, Mary Wynn. We appreciate it. Um, so this is so something that that um, that people are, are going to really have to consider um, as you get as you get up and mature <laughs> up and up and when you up get and maturity mature. <laughs> up and maturity um, and I think it's really important that you're, you, you and, and it can be twenty five years of course I know the story <laughs> it was just one of those. Amazingly wonderful, heart-touching stories. How that worked out. It was like our own little version of uh, what's the thing we watch on um, on um, 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 Hallmark, the heart. When calls the heart. When calls the heart. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, it was such a storybook kind of thing. You should write a book, Mary Wynn. You should. Um, but um, and yeah, it's been twenty five years. Wow, that's a long time. So they under so so um, it's um it it, <laughs> it was a God moment. It was, uh, <laughs> but it's you know it's one of those things that that you can use it. Hey, there's Lisa. We'll say hi to Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Um, but it's one of those things that you can use. And I love it that we've got some people who have been married for a while on the on you know on, on, yes. on, on the thing today. I appreciate that because this is something that everybody, for you know what goes through, no matter what you go through at some level. But you can use this as a point of of connection and contact to really push your relationship to the next level, not just something that you that that you have to endure through, but there's something that you can endure through together. Um, and I think that that and you can use this this opportunity. You can use every opportunity um, to do one of two things: to bring you closer, or to separate. To, to separate. Um, and I think that we can bring our health. Cha- we, we can use our health challenges to bring us closer together. After having my cold in two thousand um, fourteen, you know, people ask me, um, and I said, you know what I do know now after it, 
I know how much my family really loves me. And of course my family loved me before. Of course they did. But when you go through the, the, the rigmarole through of every like day, that. you know, of course everybody loves each other, but you know when you when, when you can't it help yourself. When you can't mm -hmm. help yourself and then you see um, what your family will do, do for you when you can't do it for yourself, when you actually see it, when it actually has to happen. I don't think we ever told you this, but my, your son kind of lost his job because of what happened. Well, because he couldn't go to work and was taking care of me. He knew he had to take care of me. My son was here taking care of me. I was sleeping in the recliner over there uh, after my recovery, and I was not good to be in the house myself. I couldn't because the recliner would have been all pee stained because I couldn't get I couldn't get out of the recliner and go pee. And he would help me out and he would wake me up and feed me breakfast. And my wife said, "Was Tom take your?" He, I'm sure you would text Tom. Take your father for a walk, like I was a dog. Take your father for a walk. <laughs> he would. And he, he'd get up and he have his shoes on. I'd be standing. He'd be standing there going, "What?" I'd be like, "What?" It's time to go. Okay. And then he helped me out of the recliner, and then he'd take me for my walk. <laughs> I felt like I was 104. Yeah, my son was taking me for a walk. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I was, too, I was too tired, too old to chase cats or anything, but he was taking me for my walk. He took care of me. And the kitty took care of you. Oh, and, and, and the cat we had at the time, um, G took care of me. So, my, you know, my, my family really, I mean, they really pitched in when it, when it, was, when it was really hard. Thank God for FMLA. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so you can use those times to, you know, bring your family closer together. And what I had to remember in and, 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 and my sickness was that, and I think a lot of people who are, who are, who are, who are sick or who, who are struggling have a tendency to snap at their family because you're frustrated. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a natural thing um, that the people who are being taken care of um, become unreasonable and mean and grouch, grouchy and crotchety. It's um, but I, you know what, I, I knew that early on. <clears throat> and so I tried my best to fight that. Everywhere I could. He was, he was good. He he didn't yell at us that that much. No, I mean I was frustrated. You know, <laughs> when you can't get out of a chair, it's, it's fairly it's fairly frustrating. Um, but I think that that you can use these opportunities to bring your family actually closer together. And I think that you should. That's my you know that's the whole story. Uh, I think that you should. You can move. You can, you can use these opportunities to bring your family closer together. Um, in your relationships and, and, and in your spirituality. I, I think that that's really super important um, to take advantage of the opportunity. Uh, and I know that it's one of those things that you know, you're, not, you're, you're, you're not looking forward to and I'm not wishing that it happens to you so you can bring your family closer together because God doesn't put sickness on you to teach you a lesson and all that sort of madness. Um, so I'm not saying that at all. But we can grow. But you can use it. Through, through struggle your struggles and mistakes and stuff, you can learn from them and grow and have a stronger marriage. You can. You can. And that's, you know what, and as everybody's walking through this same thing, um, I want you to be able to, I, I, I want you to be able to understand that you can use this time. Mark Ellison, somebody, another one of my, my ex-music showcase guys who's been, who's been married a hundred years. Mark, how long you guys been married? You guys been married a hundred years too, right? Um, and I've gone through some stuff and, and something and, and quick. How's your mom? How, how, how mama in there? Cause I know your mom was going through some stuff. Um, but, um, you can use these times to actually get closer together. And, and, and that's my hope that, you, that you would, uh, I've got a, we've got a video on YouTube and please, if you're watching on Facebook this morning, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We do, but you know what? I'm. After I'm done here, I'm going to download this video and put it up on YouTube, and I'm going to be doing it for a, uh, a year. We've got almost 100 videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. Almost 100 videos on YouTube. Um, I cover my little cold thing. <clears throat> well, I explain all of it. But anyway, that, that, that I remember. Because <laughs> I, I was asleep for, you'll see in the video, I was asleep for a few days. So I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't awake for all of it. Um, coma. <laughs> some people call it coma. Some people, some other people call it an extended nap. It wasn't just sleep. It wasn't just sleep. It was sleep to me. 
I was very sleepy. I was very. So you were very tired. I was very tired. <laughs> I was very tired. <clears throat> and they intubated me so I wouldn't talk. I'm sure that's what it was. <laughs> they put that tube down my neck so I wouldn't talk. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> and then the nurses took it out. Oh, I and shut up. He wouldn't shut up. Oh, I wouldn't shut up. They had, they had to close the door because I would talk to anybody. But that's all in the all, all in the YouTube story. So go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. You can find the YouTube channel right now because we don't have 100 subscribers, so we don't have a name yet. <coughs> search for it under Deborah Lawson, or or search YouTube for Real Talk with Devin Will. Um, and as soon as we get 100 subscribers, we'll have a real hey Lisa. Uh, we'll have a real uh, YouTube channel name for it. But we need 100 subscribers first, because that's how YouTube does it. So go to the YouTube channel, please, and subscribe. We appreciate that greatly. Um, Comment. <clears throat> like, share. Um, subscribe first. Hit the notification bell. Bing. And uh, make sure that you get updates when I upload. And we have, <coughs> we have a mukbang out there. Yes, we did a mukbang last Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, well, well we had some, uh, we had lunch. And if you don't want a mukbang, if you don't know what a mukbang is, then you're behind the time. What the heck? Uh, I mean, you need to know what that is. All right. But uh, we'll do more things like that. We, we'll, so. we'll do more things when we get outside and ride around a little bit and stuff. So in any case, I know it's, it, it's time to go because it's uh, we've been on about a half hour or so, almost exactly. So again, thank you so much for, for, Thanks for, coming, in. for coming in this morning. Have a wonderful Monday. Monday? Yay! You get to do another Monday. Yay! We are blessed to have another Monday. I'm glad to have I'm glad to have every Monday. Monday's a good day. Monday's always a good day. All right, till we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, and I mean this from the bottom of, of my newly repaired heart, take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Love you. Peace. Peace.